दबा दो दे दो ना दे दो ठीक है आज चाइना हमें पैसे नहीं दे रहे तो सऊदी अरेबिया से मांग लेते हैं ठीक है कल यूएई से मांग दिस इज नो इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी ना आपकी ना पीटीआई की ना पीपल्स पार्टी की ना किसी पार्टी की फिर द पीपल इन पावर पोलिटिकल पावर नॉट अदर एंड पोलिटिकल पावर मीन्स द मिलिट्री एज वेल सिविलियन एंड मिलिट्री इलीट इन पोलिटिकल पावर वॉट योर प्लान वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू यूर एन एजुकेटेड मैन सो आई कैन आस्क यू दिस बट यू नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज यू बिलोंग to a political elite and if you become finance minister again we are back to the imf so it's not working nay nee, i mean absolutely right pakistan is not working and it's nothing to do with imf or world bank or china or us it's completely our fault so, and, and and pakistan doesn't work for pakistani you know it, it may not work for the rest of the world but certainly not working for pakistan uh if you have uh half of your children not in school if you have 40% of pakistani children stunted another 18% wasted and another 27 or 28% malnourished obviously pakistan is not working only 16% 14% pakistani children are actually not malnourished or don't have are not undernourished so that's the reality of pakistan every night millions of kids go to sleep hungry in pakistan that's our reality 60% of Pakistanis make have a family income of less than 40,000 rupees. 40,000 rupees. 60% Pakistani, uh, and that's a family of six. That's our reality. We we produce 55 lakh children every year. That's more than China even now. That's our reality. That's producing the Faisalabad and Islamabad and, and, and Rawalpindi every year. And and we have I I will claim this right now, and I can prove this also. Argue about it anyway. that we are one of the worst governments in the world and i'm talking about across all parties across all provinces across the federation we have one of the worst least effective governments in the world that that, that is why other countries i mean bangladesh is not a superstar it's a corrupt you know authoritarian government it is not a superstar by any stretch of imagination but it has surpassed pakistan india is a very imperfect democracy i mean look at what happening to minorities in india And look at other stuff that's happening, but it has surpassed Pakistan by leaps and bounds. That's because of something wrong with Pakistan. And you talk about this, or you, you know, completely about the structural issues in Pakistan. It's an elite-dominated society. But all, all societies are elite. Yes, all societies, but no. But this is elite-dominated to the extent of completely having chokehold, and it's not just one elite, different elites controlling different aspects of Pakistan. Uh, you have, I mean, just to start with this, you know, thousand-point town gorilla. But you have this incredible ingress of the armed forces in Pakistan, uh, because of which politicians are always looking behind their shoulders, and they are not able to they think have the space to do any meaningful reforms or meaningful uh, meaningful improvements. Then you have these, you know, uh, because of this, the politicians become very uh, uh, they get a seize mentality. So you can only trust your family, for instance. And 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 that and, and politics in Pakistan is based on interest and you know the family values, values of a family and values of interest, and not, for instance, left and right like in America, for instance, you know there is leftist and there is rightist, nothing of the sort. And and those of you who talk about dynastic politics and all that, you know, for instance, you know a lot of PTI friends talk about this. There's a monarchy in PTI. That's an absolute monarchy as well. So I mean it's the same thing. It's just that it doesn't have children. You know, otherwise there is no difference. the word of the leader is, is is the law so you have these political systems then you have these businesses which has now over the last 40 50 60 years really perfected the art of uh, rent seeking and they are only selling to pakistani our businesses are not able to sell uh, abroad our businesses are not able to export if you think about this there are only about 10 million pakistani uh, abroad who send money to us and and those are able to sell Send us 30 billion dollars, and this 22 crore Pakistani, 220 million Pakistanis together can only export 30 billion dollars worth of goods. That's it, 30 billion dollars worth of goods. That's nothing. I mean, we and and and, and we, go, I mean, we we had the same exports as Vietnam in I think 1992. Today, I think Vietnam's exports are close to 200 billion dollars. So I mean, every country you name, I mean, except for Alhamdulillah, Afghanistan, we are we are we are getting behind every country. So if you if you think this is the elite fault, uh, I I will not disagree with that at all. The military elite 
and uh, the civilian elite and the other sections of, of the elite, certainly. I think that, you know, that one solution is to get rid of the elite. Uh, the elite has worked in many countries and you see, you are saying that they are not exporting, right? 30, 30 billion uh, is our export, which is now about only 8.5 or 9% of our GDP. Who can say export is not so big? Our GDP is big, but its share is reduced. Our saving rate is reduced. Look, at this time, no Pakistani is there. Academics, politicians, politicians are there. Who can say something else? Who is saying that Pakistan is in severe decline? The word that, you know, is not default, it's not a small thing, but it's a serious decline. You look at the numbers, you look at, you know, uh, education, health, uh, savings, everything. It's all going down very sharply and going down at a very fast pace. So that's exactly my question, that you, you are saying that it's these people who are responsible for this. Okay, let's accept that.